What's this? Someone's falling behind his boxes. It appears to be the cap of some sort, but I don't think I can erase it from here. Maybe the cap belongs to Tom. Well, certainly it shouldn't be out the possibility. I said, sorry, have you heard of this one, Professor? Oh, for fuck's sake. Sure, red caps. A preschool teacher had everyone in her class closed her eyes. When none of the students were looking, she slipped caps onto each other and said, Go run way up your eyes and look at all the hats your friends are wearing. Whoever sees uh, four or more people wearing red hats gets a balloon, and whoever doesn't gets a blue balloon. In the last ten children, only some of the kids got a balloon. Knowing this, how many kids? Oh no, with a balloon. This should do the trick. The thing is, the, other, the, the four Dr. Red uh, caps no can't see their own cap in that sense. That's right, since you know only some of the children receive red balloons, you also know that some children didn't receive them. If five or more children were wearing the red hat, every child to the class would get a red balloon. And if three or fewer of the were wearing hats, no one would take uh, home a red balloon. Therefore, four children must have had red hats, meaning that six children received red balloons. Rats, I was sure I could stump you with that one. But right, next time, Luke, for now, we'd better return to search for the lost little boy. Alright, yeah, but let's get back to that. Now, you answer how do we suppose someone has to warm themselves to this place? Hmm, good question. Phew, that was bad, even for Mr. Beluga. Do you mean he always blows up a you like that? You know, me or someone else on the start, the boss can be a real hard to please. That's awful, you guys shouldn't have to put up with him bullying you like that. But the boss does have a point, after all. Uh, he made his role what it is. He says that the first class train deserve first class atmosphere. Heck, even the place we use on the Danagor are special, special ordering. The workmanship is amazing. Check out the little on his back. The place I'm following the bear marks. Uh, I don't see the triangles. Uh, four. Because you can put this in four times. Let's see if this works. That was almost too easy. No, do you think uh, to flip the little triangle uh, shown? It should show that only a moment to realize that four of the small triangles fit the large one. Gosh, you finally got an eye for this kind of thing. What exactly do you think Mr. Beluga doesn't like about these plates? You got me there, I guess which people are just fickle. Oh, look at that, well, it's food scraps if I'm not mistaken. You just stop monitoring to the kitchen to grab something to eat. What well, is possible though, if it's not the case, it's certainly like in a man's apartment. The fireplace looks like it costs a chunk of change. It's true, but lovely decorations really do are one less for a room. That's doubly true for flowers. Tell me, Luke, what do you think of these flowers like these? Now, for something on the flowery side, of the three pictures labeled A, B, and C, one of them, one is actually the same as the picture on the far left. However, the image on the far right. They're going to flip left to right, and this color is inverted and then changed to black and white. Of A, B, and C, which picture is the same as the black and white picture on the far left? Hmm. 
Let's see if this works. Piece of cake. Look at that, image A is the same picture on the black and white picture on the far left. As shown above, pictures B and C are slightly variations from the image in question. Nice job, they're not both of all these two breeze. Let's keep moving for now. Oh. You're doing alright, miss? I'm fine, thank you, excuse me. So does the lady seem kind of familiar to you? Hmm, yes, I didn't mention it. Something about it did seem rather familiar. No go about, sir. It's very interesting you in a refreshing beverage of the scrumptious snack. Sorry, miss, but right now we are very busy searching for a small child. Have you seen a young boy wandering by himself around there? A little boy, yeah? I'm sorry, sir, but that doesn't ring any bells. Oh, what happened? Did he get lost on the train? Yes, unfortunately, we haven't been able to track down a missing tot. You know, I probably shouldn't spread rumors, but hey, we've got nothing else to do. Do you know that there's a wild old lady staying in this car? But if she kidnapped the little one, and let's throw away in the room. I know it's probably not true, but what if? She's just so bizarre, I can't help think about it. We're getting in trouble for spreading rumors about patrons, so forget that I said anything, okay? Strange old lady, huh? I wonder if we've seen her around. You guys, it gives my look, but it certainly does make one wonder. Hello, Destiny boys. Uh, ever get all not neat and goosebumpy from a terrifying heart puzzle? Well, no fear. The beautiful and clever young Granny Redditon stands before you, ready to help. I should have known. Who else could this tiny ass belong to? Hey, wait a second. What are you doing here anyway? So you heard of me, eh? Shorty, good to know. I'm still uh, a hit with the youngins. Hee hee hee. What do you mean? Of course I've heard of you. Remember before, remember? Mm, nope, I suggest you got this wrong. You got the wrong granny boy. Never seen you before. But you're here now, so that means you want to hear my spell, right? Uh, not really. Oh, no need to be so modest. I'd like to thank you for visiting uh, me. We're starting a little tidbit of invasion on you. But first, you see is puzzles. Puzzles people forget about. Pe uh, puzzles people miss. Do you boys have a few of those, eh? No, not yet, during this game yet, so... No need to turn red. It happens to the best of puzzlers. What I do, you see, is I take this poor lot of the puzzle and invite them to come stay with me. I imagine any puzzle you left behind have found their way to my hut as well. You want to say hello. And when it's empty, the clever lads I just go out there and find some more puzzles. Now I can take a peek inside the hut to see what's there. There's nothing. Oh, a passenger. Sorry, sir. I didn't mean to get in the way of using the desk. The deck, not the desk. You're not a passenger, too? Now, I'm just a mechanic on a train. I ride along with her in case something gets funny. Well, as you might figure, she's me was better. Makes me do pretty easy. In fact, I got so much free time that I started making the puzzles. Wanna, I wanna take one for a test drive? Driving in the wild. After years of bad business, the local zoo would finally run out of money to feed his animal. By dropping from the days with no food, the animals make a plan to escape the zoo. After praying over the bars on the rusted cage, all the animals attempt to find a way through the exit. To the maze like walls of the zoo to the exit, tap the picture animal you think made safely out of the zoo, and then tap sweat. Oh god. to test my theory. And there we have it. Shopping, the only animal that could... that will save the escape from freedom is the lion. While both the rabbit and the lion will make it as far as the path to the exit, they got the lion supposed to rabbit, he's guaranteed to eat it. Hey, what's the big idea? It was hard to pass time with puzzles when he saw them that fast. 
I'm sorry. Oh, come on, I've already solved 18. I have already solved 18 so far. I only did 75 for the last game eventually. Hello there, young fellow. You're in the wrong room. My wife and I are staying here. Definitely so to do, sir, but we are searching for our little one. Did you happen to see or hear anything uh, pertaining to this? Oh, sweetie, I think they might be tired with that darling cutie uh, pie who just passed by, remember? Oh, uh, yes, yes, he was a cute one. He was. Very small and very clever looking, I'd say. Do you see Tom down? He's missing a while now. I don't know what he told. He was going to be told. Tom's. No, I name. Uh. <sighs> to be told, Tom's alright now. His name, though. Oh, pish push dear. I bet my uh, best ball wall because it was a girl who passed by our room. Hmm, guess I mentioned it. I don't think uh, this can might be a girl. Well, until you stick a ribbon on his head, you can't really tell. Okay. Now I'm all turned around. I don't know the fences to you who we're talking about anymore. What? I had to say, but it looks like a uh, little lead just turned cold, Professor. On the contrary, look, you may have very some of the code extremely valuable information. What do you mean, Professor? You see, first, let's run to the scene of Tom's disappearance. Which is car 4, which is I think we're outside right now. Ah, Inspector! Tell me, are any close to uncovering the whereabouts of the missing child? So you are still looking over furniture to find that tyke, Luke. Uh hmm. Hmm, do you mean it's you say the child we found? No, no, not at all. What I'm saying is that the child is no longer with trust train. I thought they were on the board, but no one gave me an answer. That's just the not seen a lot. That led me to the conclusion that the poor child had got off earlier or fell from the train. Fell off? Yes, it's not really possible, given the the way John loved to run a mock. We command of their oversized heads. Uh, you can have a recipe for disaster. I'll contact the road police at the next station, so we're ready to uh, give up your search. Deal with the specter. The window on this train is mounted uh, high in a, and every exit is bound. Can you suggest them? Don't you think it's unlikely the child could have made it off the train and noticed? Alright, I'll humor you. So tell me, Leighton, what do you think this elusive ankle biter got off to? That I can't say, but something tells me we've made a rather large assumption here. Oi, there's no reasoning with you. Fine, keep playing detective. Nothing to of it, I'll tell you. Continue search for Tom. Hmm? What's your mind, my boy? You look distracted. I thought we were thinking about why, but I feel like someone has been watching us for a while. You too, then. I've been feeling the same sensation myself. Do you think that someone might be tailing us? It's certainly possible. Keep an eye out for anything unusual. Like the other shoe? Huh? Did it come out some shoes, doesn't it, Professor? It certainly does. But a strange thing is that it's the same food we found earlier. So it is. Aha. So now Tom must be. Oh, ho, look, I don't believe we've both made a faulty assumption. What exactly do you mean? Recall for a moment. Uh, the events that they haven't followed this far, Jesus Christ. Uh, let's see. We're gonna find a shoe on the floor. That's right, a shoe small enough for a baby. And then there was a cat we found in the kitchen. But it was lodged in the sunny corner. I don't know how Tim could have wormed his way back there. Correct, in order to get back there, Tim would have uh, to be no more than half your size. I don't think I've seen any uh, boys younger than myself on the train. Those are impression as well. That's something to consider a different line of thought. Luke, what if you and I have already team about and didn't know about it? Tom, I said Tim. Jesus Christ. What has happened to my brain? You see, all the while we've been searching for Tom, we've assumed that he's a small boy. But what if that assumption proves false? What if he's been wrong from the start? I think I see what you're getting at, Professor. 
The second shoe was the same in every way as, as the first shoe, including which shoe it was for. In a strange pair of shoes, uh, means that I think it does, then Tom must be. Who really is Tom? I still have the feeling that Tom made it to be. Uh, oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, good, you can actually move those as well. It's only the bottom ones we need to change around now. There we go. Good work. Tom is a dog. Do you recall the girl we saw holding a small dog? I suspect that small dog was a friend Tom. The dead man, the girl, will find Tom. The boss and Luke decided to search for a young woman holding a little dog. Flora. Where well, is the famous Mr. Layton? Dashing around like he knows something I don't. Uh, I was just about to head over to Mr. Wendell and the Charles no longer board the train. Inspector, there are moments we are moments away from discovering Tom's location. Well, you will give us just a bit longer to finish our research. Our search. Still don't want to face the truth, eh, Leighton? Fine, so you sent them it. I'm seeing uh, the snapping right about now. Uh, I'll wait a while longer. I want you, the moment she wakes up, I'm taking my final story, call it. If you want to prove yourself, right, bring me the boy before that. When you do it, I plan to do that just, I plan to do just that, Inspector. Better find a girl who can with the dog as quickly as we can.
Hey, look here, you guys have sold at least 12 puzzles. I bought you. Hardly. I can't see how I got this like a couple can do go getters like yourselves. Let me pause, eh? So we already have to do 12. Hmm, nope, that's not the answer. This one is gonna be heavy in my mind to tell you. Now what's over you two? What can I do you for? We're looking for a young lady with a small dog. Have you seen anyone fit in the description? Yeah, I remember someone seeing like that pass by. I was added to the bank of the train, I think. Thank you very much. We'll just be on our way. No, the red act, old part. I see how it is. Go to a crowd sleep to answer your question and then scoot over by the ward. I told you what you wanted to know. So at least, so the way I figure it, you should at least lend a fella hand. Oh, sorry, sir. I didn't realize you needed to help. How me a service? That's been doing of Oman for ages now. Maybe you have better luck with it. Wanna try? Sure. A man sitting next to you on the train shows your picture is drawn. Let's say this picture is total area of 10. In between it's made of a cloud compared to the sky. Yeah, that's made of the sky. Don't you think you need to guess the answer? There's definitely a man who can use it to work this out. Um. I don't need to guess this, it's one on one, I guess. It's an area of ten, so five and five. And now to test my theory. Nope. Uh, then it's well, six and four. I suppose you can't win them all. I do actually guess types of puzzles like this. Actually, clouds. Yeah, six and four. This should do the trick. A true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. No, no, the key holds to you just touch around the picture and divide it up. Um, but yeah, to be clear, that B and F, C and I, D and G, and E and H are simply parts of the same drawings to call a reverse. That means that in these eight areas, there are four squares of sky and four squares of clouds. Remaining two squares, A and G, are solid blue. As in the end, there are six squares of sky and four squares of cloud. Jesus. Ah, oh, I see it now, yeah. Ah, oh, so that's how you do it. You get quite handy your shoulders, don't you? Now, as to the girl you're asking her, she's probably in the position back behind me. First time I look decided to talk to the girl on the observation desk. Desk. Why do I say desk again? Well because I'm I'm so used to saying desk lay. Sneaking suspicion that it was you who was tailing us. Flora, what are you doing here? I'm sorry. It's just... Well, you see, I just didn't want to be all alone again. Hmm. 
Professor? What lies ahead could be dangerous. Huh? That's why you'll have to be extra careful. All right? Uh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's the dog we saw earlier. Quickly, grab him. Yep. Well, it'll be. Tom wasn't a boy at all. Uh, right you are, Luke. Let's get back to its owner. Oh, I'm sorry I'll be going right now. Don't be ridiculous. Come along now. Yay, Professor Luke and Flora decided to bring Tom back to his owner, Babette. You can also see um, here in the bottom left of the stream screen who is actually traveling with us. I say bottom left, the game says top screen because the game is uh, supposed to be like top and bottom screen. But the stream, that's, that's hard to do. I think I was you're alright, my sweet little Tommy boy. I've made you so. Yep, yep. This is Tom? We're in the rest of the we're searching for a boy, not a matter of a fancy haircut. How dare you compare my darling Tommy can see some common street mongrel. Lost dogs are no matter for Stolen Yard, the next time he goes missing, find him yourself. Blimey, some dogs have an other sense. Come on, Bart, and we've got a real case to solve. And who got his inspector? Barton! Yay! Don't you walk away from me, I'm not talking to you your atrocious manners. Atrocious manners, whatever. Well done, Dan. Welcome, Max Sweetie. Where did my little Tommy Kins run off to today? He's such a darling that I feared someone might have kidnapped him and been holding on for a ransom. I'm probably going to keep Fred's involvement in Tom's experience in the raps. Good idea, my boy. Eep. I do believe it awaits in order. Here, I know it's quite um, generous, but I insist. When I have a toy, sure. Quite generous. They were making a stop and a coin was by the name of Dropstone. Would you get to get there, Professor? I'm not entirely sure, but waiting here will make time pass faster. Let's rest while we wait. Tom's experience. It turns out that Tom isn't a child, as was thought already, but rather a bet's pet dog. If we see no bet's affection to Tom, it's so deep that she considers him to be much more than just a pet. Professor Luke and Flora decide to return to the other, to the Aquarius for the time being. So Flora, what do you mean hiding all this time? Well, until I found a little dog, I've been relaxing in my room. Have you got your own room? Sure I do, it's in the middle one, a third car. Well, you do know that's the room right next to ours, don't you? We're just a while away from us, and I never uh, so much as suspected you were there. It would seem our powers of... Observations are a bit rusty. Eek! My word. Why is the train stopped? What's going on? Samuel, you dolt. What did you do this time? He was when chill out. Is it a uh, down train, like just sitting on the track? Until we can move that thing out of the way, we're not getting anywhere. Man. Jeez. <laughs> the word man just... was stuck. Okay. They get to a very engaging mood now. I would have your laziness tangent the monetary brand. But I'm uh I'm just gonna say, shouldn't we get someone a little more, you know, gear headed to handle this? Besides, train cars heavy man, how do you supposed to move it? Who we'll choose, especially from a little conductor who barely keep earns his keep. I don't care how to do it, just get it done. Okay, okay, I've got a shot. Just turn it down a notch, Unco. Unco? I might be an but I'm also president of the railway, and I demand you address me as such. I get right, whatever you say, Mr. President. Bah, I'm too nice uh, to that indolent scuffy nephew of mine. All allows a dozen complain. What's the other problem here? I'm sure, Mr. Passenger. See, there's another freight uh, train parked on a track. It's blocking away. 
Clearing the track is gonna take some time, so just um, sit back with, uh, with something fizzy and light. I see. Can I enter a hand? For real? Oh yeah, that'd be way helpful. You think you can find a way to move the train and block in the track so you can get a move on? Well then, we got... Uh, we got... We're not going anywhere until the train moves off its track. Sure. Do not worry, we're the most extra going anywhere. Thank you, uh, Sevis, for the follow. Train swap. Uh, okay, we have to do that. So, please have the two trains along the tracks. Move the cars one at a time. Make sure that the number of number by each of the track match the numbers on each car. Uh, sure. Okay. This should do the trick. Huh. Why do I remember this from my past? Like literally. Even years ago. Well, yeah, now we're back to the train. It's my schedule as it is. Hopefully we should be able to continue our journey now. We're back in regular. Right Give me a sec, we'll be up and running again. We're only moving again. It's gonna be too much longer before we arrive in drop stone. I wonder if we we'll find any useful information there. I hope so. Uh, around parts, sure. So that's for like the middle of the camera. We have five puzzles uh, we can do if we want to. I'm not going to probably. Well, not right now at least. There we go. 21 out of 21. Chapter 2 The Country Village of Dropstone. There's a little back there, I did a number on the brakes, so we're stopping here for repairs. We need a three hours to be ready to roll, so why don't you get the local sites? Uh, capital idea. Besides, who knows when infection might stumble upon the village? The rest of the Luke of Lord decided to take in the sites around Dropstone. This isn't the ending uh, location, right? Oh god. I clicked the wrong button. I clicked some my third screen, but well. Actually. I remember this being a puzzle well. Look at the poster of the of a train, Professor. Yes, yes, it's quite lovely, Luke. But there's something cool out all about the picture. Huh? What do you mean, Professor? A dramatic farewell. Train station are especially a good place for doing for us, aren't they? Below is a picture of a man and a woman bidding each other a terrible goodbye. Somewhere within this picture, a single realistic detail. Find a circle in unusual area. Oh my, okay. I don't remember this one. See if this works. Nope, not the dog. <laughs> Looks like I botched that one. And like I just says this. Think about the clues you've been given and try again. Thanks, game. I noticed this. Let's 
Last time I checked, the first thing I checked. Well, last time I, I did something, the first thing I checked was the dog. Usually the last hint gives you the instant answer, so that's why I'm um, not doing that one. What if I try to avoid that answer? Hmm. Let's see if this works. Nope. Oops, that wasn't right. That thing done? Here goes. I don't know. It's not the man in the foreground. It's not the moon slash um, lamp post. It's not the dog. It's not those two. When they're going up. This works. Why? Who? What? Where? That was almost too easy. Explain it to me. I just a moment. Okay. What happens when there's another another slide down to the body of the train, or allow one portion with the open, of course? Thanks to this modern air conditioning, the good number of trains and even the windows don't open at all. That's one of the puzzles that make me feel stupid. Oh, right there, that was the old section. Uh, to set up, do you still build the camera in the trunk? Sure. I feel like we're actually getting the, the thing done though. Like the entire camera. Not Granny Willowton. Oh, hello! Fancy seeing you, laddies, here. Uh, fancy seeing you, laddies, me? Uh, they booted me out the train until I fix it. Yeah, uh, I have three people's past them. Just wonder to pick it to my shack of wonders. I'll be here uh, until I can come back on the train. So just come by if you. If you got a hankering for a puzzle. You know what? Looks big dinner. This is zero zero eight. Now, Luke, are you sure you really need all that? You're putting quite an order there. No job, Professor. I clean my plate and serve room for more. It's no wonder the Professor is concerned that Luke's order costs twice the Professor did. Below, you can see all that Luke and Professor left in order. Hmm. So Luke got double what the professor has. Um, let's just first do that. So these are more seem like something that that Layton would do anyway. Um, Uh, that's 30, 38, 30, you're not, gonna, you're not going to get 38 out of that. Uh, so that's already clear.
Actually, it doesn't have to be 38. There's 37 though. There's one is not double. However, you have the 38 and 30, the 37, 38, plus 20, let's take the, the 30. So what if we do this? Um. So this is 22 plus 17 to 39. Are we going to get that out of this? Yes, I know. Uh, this is 18, uh, 28, 38. You're not going to get that out of that. Um, what is the difference though? The difference is 11. Actually, no, it's not 11. 38 plus 28, so that means, uh, 6. This is twenty six. Well, this is the thing for Luke. Oh, for the, this is the for, this is for Preston, and this is all for Luke. Twenty six. Uh, plus 25. Plus 25, but that's 51. Uh, 21. Well, it really has to be 20. If it has to be 51, then we have to get that 1 and 2. That's impossible. Twenty six plus seventeen. Twenty six. Uh, first twenty six real quickly. Plus seventeen. The four by there. So you get three thirteen. Uh, you get turning left of thirty. So that is uh forty three. This already is forty one. Yes, it is. 8 plus 13 is 21. That still doesn't conclude it. This could be it. You have 27 plus 8, uh, so that concludes your 35. So that means this one has to be 70. So you first off do 12 and 16. 12 and 17. Yeah, what? what we'll do first to 12 and 17. 12 and 17 is. 
You add 16 to that, so that's 45. That's the answer. Okay. And now to test my theory. A true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. Cool, okay, if you get the total, uh, total taps, you'll see that the milk uh, cost than five pounds. Knowing the total, you was over the seventy pounds or food and it was thirty-five. When you got those numbers, the rest is easy. I'm sure you didn't order too much. No, this is great. This steak's great too. Well then, eat up, I suppose. Yay! Stack glasses. Do you know a four-star restaurant? Assigns a young waiter to the task of second glass in the of way. They get to place the young waiter immediately draws five separate designs and shows them to the owner. The owner takes one glass of designs with a look at the attention. Turn out the boy and cries. The design is preposterous. What are you thinking? Uh B. Hmm, B is impossible. Works. It could still happen. That wasn't right. Like, how are you supposed to make B happen, though? Actually, how are you supposed to make D happen? It's a glass. It's not like. Just leave it to me. That was almost too easy. Exactly right, the restaurant owner uh, was talking about Sketch T. If you look closely, you can see that the first and second row from the glass. It's going to possibly range in the matter of the It's simple to sketch, they don't take into account the rim of the glasses. The worker ant. Next up, puzzle 017. Long as possible, sure. I think the one that has a fruit is actually the better one. <laughs> Looks like I botched that one. Hmm. Or this one. Hmm. Let's see if this works. Nope. <laughs> Looks like I botched that one. Hmm, let's see if this works. Nope, okay. <laughs> Looks like I botched that one. I might know already, actually. I might be thinking about it in like a different way. Do I like this? Hmm. Let's see if this works. Uh, Looks like I botched that one. I don't know what to use hints on this. Like that, this one is like. Hmm. 
Ah, uh, just puzzles. Just leave it to me. <laughs> like I that one. I'm going to his hand now. Be as sure as untouched as possible. I mean, I'm already trying that, but. Like the thing is, this doesn't work. Just leave it to me. Maiden's apprentice strikes again. I'm going to go blind, I think. The uh, Pop saw the heavy lifting and kept this a little ant from thinking about his path home. If only he thought about where he was going, he could have saved himself a lot of walking. Sure, that's yet another one solved. The train ride. I'm never be riding the train at the first station on the train pulls into one of six people on board get off. For the next stage, one of five people running past you get off. Uh Fuse number six. Just leave it to me. That means one at every location gets that off. Almost too easy. We assume the pass the train started of six passengers. The only the only one person would have to get off at each station. This puzzle can be really tough. You never with a reduced number of people remaining on the train at each station along the way. That one was easy. Let me also give you a shout out, by the way, May. There you go. Puzzle 21, pass it on. Puzzle 021. Eight people are playing an usual communication game. In this game, one person has to get a message across to seven other people. It takes one minute to pass along a message, and each time the message is spoken, it can only have one recipient. In these rules, what's the right amount of time minutes for the Thousand under seven people. Uh, three. Consider this puzzle solved. A true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. Then there are puzzles like that, which... Oh, okay. Very nice. If the original messenger spreads the word, as shown as above, the game can be completed in three minutes. During that time, the original messenger can tell three people the message. In the first... And the people who heard the message within the first minute, the first two minutes, can go and become messengers themselves. Uh, when news the merge arises, information that was structured in the above fa fashion can help pick it out fast. Oh, nice! A button part. It's like I like that they actually say also like what part you're getting. Well, Miss Flatton, how are you enjoying your time here in Dropstone? You've been delightful. Every once in a while, it's nice to leave the city and enjoy the countryside. The air is so clean and fresh, and I'm so glad that people got to live here. I can't put it by myself. There's something about this place that makes you feel like a new man. Are you celebrating the 50th anniversary today? Our timing couldn't be better. Come to think of it, the Motor Express turned 50 this year, didn't it? Uh, quite a coincidence. Ah, uh, yes, I need it. Shit coincidence, of course. So, it could have been so fun to start your anniversary here at the festival. 
Well, we already have a Grant 50 anniversary celebration planned as an exclusive venue in London. Why is that so? I'm sure your bride will be on par with the excellence of your train. Yes, and on that note, I'm afraid to have to excuse myself. Good day, Mr. Layton. Sure. Good day to you, Mr. Beluga. My, it's already been a year since she passed. Time truly does fly by. She? What do you think he was talking about, Presser? Never the four years, Luke. Hmm. Which for the village? <laughs> well then. Oh, and who do we have here? Visitors from, from out of town. Indeed we are. We're traveling on the Monetary Express. We've stopped here for repairs. I need it for repairs. I better know where you had it. Oh, really? What do you mean, sir? Hmm, oh, it was. I'm just thinking out loud. Yep, just chatting with myself. Forget about it. See, the other festivals that's running uh, today here in Dropstown? Today marks 58 years to the van of the village. Make sure you get it on the van. Well, look at all the stuff I had to do. <laughs> uh, bit too close to comfort, but sure. Never been uh, to a real life festival before. It's wonderful. Oh no, Flora, you've been living with robots your entire life, so. Eek. Oh yeah, Flora, I've forgotten you grew up uh, in a one little village. But now she's time to make up for a lost time. Let's explore. That's a great idea. Where should we go first? Oh, I'll have to go to the booth there. Uh, I'll have to see what they've got. Work for me. Haha, <laughs> you do watch where you're running. If you're liable to crash into something. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Not him again. What are these hours for? It's a carnival game. Hey, let's go. Let's try and this fine game of kills. I'll tell you what, since Mr. is so slow right now, the first try is for me. Of course, really, mister? We well, can't say no to the test. Come on, Flora, we can try it together. Puzzle number 029, the winning arrow. A bag of uh, cannon angles in front of the three arrows touched the wall. Shouldn't all three arrows are perfectly straight? The air ABC is connected to the candy. I feel like it's C. Here goes. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Looks like I botched that one. Hmm. Let's see if this works. Piece of cake. Good eye, RB is the one to touch the candy. The reason this puzzle is tough for some people is because it contains a famous optical illusion. When you have square poison or a diagonal line with straight shape, the two visible points of the line appear disjointed from one another. Here's the issue that I had. No, it's done, Shorty. Here's a little something for that uh, fine placement. Really, gosh, thank you. Spring part. Sure. Let's rebuild the camera some more. I only have one issue with this. Okay, I don't know exactly where it goes. Sure, I tap on something and see another puzzle. Well, look at those fruits and veggies on this card. Who belongs to the person running that little sand? Oh, well, it looks like one of the woods is dented. That must make it difficult to move much. Yeah, but it's a real pain. Oh, but you know what? I don't have a puzzle about a busted wheel. Sure. Puzzle number 028, the warped wheel. Uh, 
uh, in the back of the train yard, there is an old warped wheel laying on the ground. I shall below the stop button to the axle while no longer functional. The wheel is interesting because when rolled on the right flat surface, the axle traces a funny pattern if you look at it from the side. Here goes. What? Why? Well, I'm stumped. Why? Because surely you put this on the ground. Like you put it on the ground. Uh. After that, it's here. But should you flip it over, this thing stays here. And gets here. Okay, so can you explain why this is the one? Why is this one? Oh, yeah, because it's not the complete. It's not like the. the okay, yeah, no, I see it now. Okay, then I'm going to quickly trace the path of the axle. Uh, as the wheel rolls. You really won't see this wheel on the train anytime soon, but it should be fun to watch it bounce around, wouldn't it? Yeah, like, you should get that one at fast. Yeah, in two tries. If you got puzzles, I've got answers. I'm impressed you knew a puzzle like that. I've never heard that one before. I need to know a few to run with you two. Already it's solved 29. Nice. You. Who is the top secret festival prep here? So you can't come in yet, okay? Sure, let's go to the right. Hey there, fellas. I'm in a real bind here. Help an old gal out, will you? It's a little problem, but problem, madame. Why should little bird fall down uh, a hole in the ground here? I want to help the poor thing, but I just can't reach it. Do you have any ideas? I believe there's something we could try. Oh, God. The trap bird. It's not A. It's not A because of this. Okay, it's B. Consider this puzzle solved. Huh. Wonderful. Very nice. The bird uh, can safely escape the underground corners by following Tunnel B. And the other tunnel will lead either deeper in the ground or into the mouth of a very hungry snake. Snake. Puzzle 36, a trapped bird. Ah, uh, definitely bird. I was worried she'd be stuck in that forever. I wish I had some way of thanking you properly. Oh no, here, you can have this tea set and these lovely herbs. Take them, I insist. Tea set minigame, I don't play that one. Touch the tea set, touch the trunk icon, then touch the tea set icon. The tea set lets you mix uh, embryo a very variety of herbal teas. A multiple uh, dose of an herb to increase the herb effect in the tea. I'm not a tea person. I can actually go to the north as well. First go here though. Oh, we already came from here. Gracious, the world is going to be finer for celebrating drop zones fancy as 50. My memory is not what it used to be, but you're not from here, are you? Waiting on the train? How do I know, you ask? Well, this is the first time it happened. The train is here the train, but it must be in rotten shape. Take heart, Sunny. More often than not, the train gets fixed up in a few hours. 
We've had a vessel on our planet to see in the meantime. Thank you for the information. If I could trouble you for a moment, though, I'd like to ask you about the right now to see a legion box. Oh dear me. Um, I mean, oh dear me, I've never heard of such a dreadful thing. Never, you hear? Hmm. Hmm, well, that's enough chatting with strangers for one day. Do you think I was an ice bird until you came along? Now I'm crabbier than a crab pie. Apple. Crab apple. Crab pie, whatever. Uh, if you want to prove you're sorry for ruining my day, so does your puzzle. World's cast best golfer. A pro golfer has amazing ability to consistently put distances of 3, 5, 7, and 11 feet. Strangely enough, though, there's only distance he can put. Uh, currently, a golfer stands on the green of his 20 feet from the hole. I mean, it looks she can. Uh. Three, seven, five, eight. Um, three, five, seven. This should do the trick. Nope. Oh, the last part. My. This one is quite formidable. The other ball is a hit further than the distance running to the hole. It will roll over to the side we're going into the cup. But there's no way it could be two. It has to be three. Two? Let's just try two. Like, if it's not three, then it has to be two, because we know three is an amount that works. Why is it two? Explain to me. A true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. Kyob, if ever in the pro golf puts two diagonal shots in as well, if he can sing the ball in two shots. No one ever said a golfer to put directly towards the hole, did they? Sure, in order to uh, sink the put using the method to the ball, he need to calculate the angles of each shot perfectly, but it's really why he's a pro- Fuck! That's thick, it's very nice. You got a good hand on those shoulders, Sonny. But I guess you uh, need them to pull off uh, that hat. <laughs> 